dot 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 <laughs> that was the longest stretch of a lip what is this is this like a loading screen is my loading screen ellipses is that it i was getting a loading screen for the wii menu okay thanks game anyways we have a mountain and now it's gone And of course, the first fucking thing we see is a baboon, and another baboon. And more baboons. Thank you, Chrome Studios, for baboons. I appreciate it. Probably. Not really. Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome to The Legend of Spyro The Eternal Night. Um, so, it's been a while since my Spyro days. Um, it's actually really funny, like, I don't think anyone ever noticed, but ever since the very first Spyro, I did I did a new Spyro game every five Let's Plays, and I kept that up until Legend of Spyro A New Beginning. And then I just stopped, because I was like, I don't care. So, that kind, of, that kind of just ended up making it a long time until I ended up getting to this, and I'm going to skip cutscene, because I don't care. Anyways... I'm finally doing the next Lyro game, so that's cool. But, A New Beginning was boring. It was really, really boring. And I had to stretch myself for the commentary in that Let's Play. And so, this time, I'm doing something a little bit differently to make it a little bit easier on me. I'm dragging someone else along into this. Hello? You no. Can, you can, that was your cue? You told me to be quiet, and I failed at that, so I tried to be quiet again. I was no. gonna- I'm cutting all of your laughter out. No! I yes. had to laugh at the baboons! I finally- no. I finally get to see you do it! You finally get to suffer! No, what? Anyways, oh, this is Crab. Crab Hello, Master. Hello, I'm Crab Master. I am the man who will be talking over- all of the cutscenes because I'm not good at paying attention to when cutscenes I'm cut pretty certain happen. there's still going to be subtitles. In fact, I can check in the options right now. Because if if you've what? seen me in any other guest let's play that involves Why the scenes? fuck is back A and except B? Oh. Why the fuck is that a thing? This is a shovel knight. Subtitles are not on, actually. Thank you for yeah. making that a thing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, welcome I to Bet- I can make you bright. Welcome. I can make you dark. Oh my. Welcome to Legends of Baboons, though. I'll just keep it on default, I guess. No, this we need default. extra dark edginess, because this game probably has really dark rooms that we won't be able to see anything in if we put it all the way down. Which is exactly what we want. It, all the way down. No, don't do that. Please, don't ever listen. I'm going to, to turn down the TV, because there, this background chorus for the menu is extremely loud. I can actually hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so the reason why I have Crab with me specifically and not just some other random person is because of uh, I'm kind of also repaying him back for Spyro Season of Ice, which was on his channel. Oh yeah, that was a thing. So that was a let's play that he did that I was a permanent guest on. So this time Crab's gonna be a permanent guest on every single episode of this let's play of Spyro the Eternal Night. When you edit these videos, don't forget to mix my audio to be way too quiet so nobody can hear me. <laughs> no, Crab, true I'm, repayment. I'm, 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 I'm exper I'm experienced at this kind of thing. Yeah, that's why you have to do it purposefully. Repayment. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to actually start doing stuff now by pressing B to continue forward. That is weird. So, mm, yeah. Slots. Save successful. Oh, it looked a little wee. Anyways, we're now loading. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, it's practically a PS2 game on the Wii. Um, so I, I got it on the Wii so that I could play it on the Wii U. Basically, yeah. and record it in 60 frames per second HD quality. Which should look pretty nice, I guess. <laughs> Nicer um, than the first Let's Play. The, I mean, there would be... It's weird, because, you know, the game won't really... It, it'll, it'll stretch, which is, in a weird sort of way, like... You know, kind of makes the quality better? 
Oh. This is a cutscene. You're a cutscene. Sierra Entertainment presents something that's probably not entertaining. Mm. Oh, it'll be for me. A Chrome Studios production because everything's Chrome in the future. Future! The Legend of Spyro the Eternal Knight because the night will last forever. Oh no. Oh! I had to make the reference even though I don't care anymore. I just, it's just, it's way too obvious. Also, I don't know what's going on. He's puking. We should pro- This is a sequel game to a very story-oriented game, and this is the final boss of that game, so sorry, spoilers. Oh yeah. This is, this is when, when I was in Jellyfish Land, I guess. It, it's almost like these games were plot-based. Instead of collect egg, save thank you for rescuing me, people. Releasing! Shh! Releasing! I knew what I did wrong. We gotta get after. Now! Also, uh, everybody gonna done die. I've got to save her. So. What? Save the beast that's been trying to kill us? Wait. Yeah, they changed Sparks' call. voice acting. <laughs> it's not David Spade. I was waiting for you to notice. Oh gosh, there's so many things I know that I'm just gonna wait. Alright, so this is basically the last cutscene of the last game, except now Sparks is voiced by someone else. I think his voice actor actually changes in every single game. Well, that's consistent. I guess it's to make up for the fact that Sparks' voice actor was the one who never changed in the last game. Last series, <laughs> the classic series. I think in the third game... Oh uh, hey, well, know. goodbye pre-rendered cutscenes. So that was abrupt. Spiral. So nice. Beautiful. What is it you want, Sparks? Huh. Why do I have to want something? I'm just ready to begin the best day ever now that the evil psycho she dragon is gone. Hold on. What? That sounds Cinder. really fami familiar. What do you mean, Sparks? Whoa. Calm down, big fella. Gosh, you're awful tense. Hm, haven't been sleeping much? You should listen to Voltaire tell one of his stories. That'll put anyone to sleep. Sparks, what happened? I'm not paying attention right. to the plot. I'm just trying to figure out who's voicing Sparks. Don't, <laughs> don't tell me. I don't know, actually. I forgot. Hanging about. Lo and behold, there she was, sneaking out into the garden. Sneaking out into the garden. That is me, Chris, dude. Hear my teeth? Well, come on, we have to find her. It's dangerous for her to be outside the temple at night. Like you are right now? It's dangerous so, uh, for any of us to be outside at night. Besides, oh. Ignitus said you have to wait till your powers return. Cause you're weak. Powers return? No time to argue. Come on. Uh, <clears throat> you'd be helpless without me. <clears throat> I better come with you. Cough. Cough. Okay, well, I can move now. So let's see if I remember how to do things. Okay, B is jump. I can still do that. So, um, welcome to the next Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, the game works, I guess. <laughs> yep. It's a game. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> okay, I really, like, it sounded so familiar. It's like, it's some sort of cartoon character, that's for sure, because that's all I know. Uh, I feel like I recall it. One second. I'm not going to tell you, but I'm going to look it up really quick. So, <laughs> voice actors. Wait a second. Is it Stimpy? Uh, I, I think it's Stimpy. Wait, this is a new beginning. Oh, I didn't want this game. I wanted the sequel. Where Who voices this? Stimpy again? <laughs> I forget. I don't know voice. I, I never watched Ren and Stimpy. I um, not even as an adult because it's just like meh. Yeah, I don't like it either. Actor. Spyro Eternal Night or Darkness or Dark Souls. So why isn't Eternal Night anyway? Oh yeah, that's Wait, did who did he voice? One second. Uh I'm I'm gonna keep thinking that it's Stimpy for right now. Un one second. Unless you deconfirm it. Stimpy voice actor. I can't, I think let's see. I yeah, got okay, a feather! You, you are right. It's Billy West. Billy West? The voice of Fry? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I was... I, I can't hear it well enough. <laughs> but I was like, 
Isn't it? Isn't it Billy West? It, Billy West was in, in the. I I should have just paid attention because Billy West was fucking in the title sequence. In the title sequence, I was gonna say people are probably really mad that we. It was right there. <laughs> I didn't know what order they were doing them in, it just didn't like necessarily occur to me because I didn't think of Fry because I've never seen Futurama. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Deep baritone. Quiet. We mustn't wake them. What? I can't hear you over all this snoring. Shouting. Oh my gosh. Yes. I really wish we could get a classic style Spyro game with a bit of the look, because I actually don't mind this look for Spyro. <laughs> this look for Spyro is basically Spyro. It's not really yeah. a radical design change. It's just that his animations aren't the best, although they do seem to be better in this game so far. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I like how bulgy his eyes are. Honestly, like, it's less the look and more the gameplay that just makes it weird. I guess yeah. maybe, like, his mouth is a little bit weird. He's got that bit of a, like, chunky snout. His mouth was always a little bit weird, and, like, the eyes maybe could stand to be a little bit smaller? <laughs> no, larger! But everything else about him is basically Spyro. It's not yeah. really, like... But, but, it's but, not but, Skylander's design, at least. It's not edgy. Uh, it, like, with the way, like, how dark everything is in these games, you'd expect him to be a little more edgy, but he's not edgy. Why did I just destroy the door of the ancient temple? Because it's old. What was that? What in the world? What is that? That's exactly what Spyro just said. It's a toad weed. Oh. Oh, it's a toad weed. Of course. I should have known. Oh yeah! Combos! I, I, I forget. Uh, this is all stuff from the first game, right? Yeah, and except I... that seemed strangely slower than I would expect it to be. Well, it does weird slow-mo stuff. Oh yeah, that's like an option, isn't it? Enable autosave, yes! Wait, no, hold on, I have to press B. Press B. I feel like that mixed me up, too. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting to get used to. <gasps> Ooh. I just exploded. Options. They don't have it anymore. Oh, weird. I, well, I think it's... Oh, no, of... crab. There are collectibles in this game. The feathers are collectibles in this game. I have one oh, of 40. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I remember what that unlocks. It's I like... have a history of 100%ing Spyro games, but the new beginning didn't have anything to 100%. Hmm. Uh, well, hmm, interesting. I'm concerned for I my well-being. But, uh, yeah, get, uh, get used to bullet time happening, I guess. That's really annoying, because I remember now that was an option in the first Legend of Spyro to just occasionally have that happen? I think it actually has gameplay implications now, though. Alright, well, if it, really has, sure. if it factors into the gameplay, then okay, but Maybe. like... Maybe? I, I kind of recall it getting annoying, though. <laughs> oh, look, a feather! There are collectibles in this game. <laughs> Get it! I, I probably have to jump on top of the tree. But now I'm really... Oh no, I have, a, I have obligations. Do it. Get it. Beat it. I don't know what just happened. Play it. I'm um, let's playing it right now. No. Ah, oh, yes. Collectibles. My favorite. Um... I'm having problems. I'm having problems too. I'm trying to see if I can fix said problems before I become stupid. What are your problems? The fact that my audacity isn't keeping up where the track is like yours is. Which is obnoxious. Hmm. I Why can't have... I stand on top of the tree? Oh yeah, get used to that too. I mean, what? It looks exactly like a platform and I clearly can't make this jump from over here. But Alti... It's slightly non-uform. Maybe I'm supposed to come back for it? Slopes. No, don't, don't, don't even go there. Don't even slopes. go there, crab. Super slopes. Many of a slope. 
Oh, maybe you could glide down from up here? I don't know. Um, <laughs> what is happening? Following oh. instructions. Fancy. Also, I guess I can try. Uh, I don't. I don't know if that's gonna make it. I'll you try can because. Do it. Yeah, it's not making it. Huh. You know what? I don't care. I don't want to collect everything. <laughs> well, I screw think... my obligations. I think what all it really. Ooh. It's dangerous. Oh, hey, are you gonna actually you become a character? Me, Spyro. That's good enough for me. Let's go. See ya. Yeah. Please, don't make this harder for me than it already is. I'm just trying to understand. Jeez. I'm leaving, Spyro. I don't belong here. After all I've done, all I've put you through, I can't stay. Her tail. Send in this. Nobody worried. blames you for what happened. Huh, I do. Speak for yourself. Why wouldn't Sparks. anyone blame her? No, Sparks is right. And every day. Am I forgetting I'm something? Reminded of it. <laughs> Spyro, your place is here. I don't think there's here. any real. But mine is somewhere out there for me to find. Cinder, I don't want you to go. Goodbye, Spyro. I mean, all she was is possessed. She's just guilty because. I mean, she yeah. did almost Trying murder everybody. Here. It's um. I can only sort of half sleeping with one eye open oh, for well, weeks now. Stop making jokes. Eyes, of course. It lessens the strain, but I tell you, it's taking a toll. Hey, He's was this so... Twitch always there? Spyro, you okay, buddy? Uh, hey, nice. too. What I didn't now. DreamWorks Let's character. Get inside. It's dark out, man, and I don't, I don't like it. it. Hello? Anyone you along? literally are saying everything at the same time as Sparks. What is, are are you're my Sparks? You're my Sparks crab. Oh my god. You're my Sparks. What? What did I do? <laughs> I was just mumbling to myself. Was it really that loud? Yes. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Also, what is going on? Plot. Lots of it. Too much. Dreamwork characters. Why do people characters. like the ga these games' plots? That's stupid. People like these games' plots? Apparently. I didn't know. Hello. I mean, they're interesting. Is anyone there? Do not be frightened, young dragon. Interesting to criticize. You are not alone. Oh, snap. Who are you? What is this place? I have summoned you here oh, so gosh, that this. you might be warned. The celestial moons are counting down, and time is running out. Why is there a chair in the background? <laughs> or is that just a piece of debris? Probably. <laughs> Make it stop! It's a piece of debris. Drop the ring, Frodo. Make it stop! Well, I guess I'm in jellyfish land? That's what this yeah, looks like. I forgot this. Oh my thing. god, everything is slow. Oh my god, everything is slow. Crap, oh. help me. Oh yeah. Crap, um, help me. I forgot about this. <laughs> These weird sort of tutorial, I guess. How did that happen? Wait, oh, well, this is what I forgot. Can wield many abilities that others cannot, including time itself. Spyro is a time lord. lord. <laughs> able to see things almost before they happen. No, he's sh you just soak. Use this gift oh, gosh. sparingly, only when circumstances demand. I can't the tell. The of time is not to be done without the. Utmost care. I remember this game having a bit of a. Okay, no, never mind. He's Bayonetta. Oh. Oh yeah. I remember this game having a bit of a sense of. Oh. Yeet and Skyward Sword tutorials. No, what? Just constant talking from characters in the middle of things. It's, it's pleasant. Don't worry. Can I have my but this is an back, interesting please? mechanic. It's an interesting mechanic, but why are we being taught this over big bottomless pits? Because video games... I mean, this game doesn't have l lives, but still, it's like... This seems counterintuitive for a tutorial to be so, like... Funny and Dark and dangerous. The, uh, the funny 
irony of it is I'm pretty sure it would just it should just reset you back on the platform, which I would in imagine in a technical sense is better than if there's stuff down there because it means it should reset faster. <laughs> yeah, but it feels more dangerous mental mentally. What the oh um what? What? Oh oh yeah! <laughs> it stopped me from continuing and then started a cutscene where I continued. You have abandoned I forgot your about that. Calling. It is your destiny to harness the power <laughs> of the elements. Yep, you possess. I haven't been able to use my abilities for some time now. Yes. Right now, your powers lay dormant within you. Well, just drop a bell on you. That's how you got See, most of them. If we oh. might not awaken them. <laughs> Clear your mind, yeah. Spyro. Oh, and feel yeah. the fire that flows through your veins. Allow its heat to consume you. Then breathe. I don't really know now what's going on. Rise up and release the firestorm within you. <laughs> all but for all team cinematics. Cinematics, all team. Also, I can't wait. Um. Oh. I'm literally just fire. on fire. I didn't <laughs> breathe fire. I'm just on fire. No, Congratulations. You. Show me you have come on. Burned. You have reawakened the fire element within Spyro. Follow the floating platforms to test your new abilities. Press up to select the fire element in the future. Oh. Um, I'm literally still on fire. Yes! And... So, I'm thinking I, that next time... Oh, now it's gone. Next time on Let's Play Spyro, can, I'll... Can I, can I just mention more. one thing before the episode ends? Sure. The only unfortunate thing I've realized about this Let's Play is all the stupid stuff happens in cutscenes, and I can't make any mention of it without talking over the other stupid stuff that happens in cutscenes. What? <laughs> Speaking of Welcome which, to see you guys next time. <laughs>